Transmission Human coronavirus is most commonly spread from an infected person to others through 1. The air by coughing and sneezing 2. Close personal contact, such as touching or shaking hands 3. Touching an object or surface with the virus on it, then touching your mouth, nose, or eyes before washing your hands rarely, fecal contamination. In the United States, people usually get infected with common human coronaviruses in the fall and winter. However, you can get infected at any time of the year. Most people will get infected with one or more of the common human coronaviruses in their lifetime. Young children are most likely to get infected. However, people can have multiple infections in their lifetime. There are currently no vaccines available to protect you against human coronavirus infection. Prevention. You may be able to reduce your risk of infection by doing the following. 1. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. 2. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, or mouth with unwashed hands. 3. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. How to protect others. If you have cold-like symptoms, you can help protect others by doing the following. 1. Stay home while you are sick. 2. Avoid close contact with others. 3. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze, then throw the tissue in the trash and wash your hands. 4. Clean and disinfect objects and surfaces. Treatment. There are no specific treatments for illnesses caused by human coronaviruses. Most people with common human coronavirus illness will recover on their own. However, you can do some things to relieve your symptoms. 1. Take pain and fever medications. Caution, do not give aspirin to children. 2. Use a room humidifier or take a hot shower to help ease a sore throat and cough. If you are mildly sick, you should. 1. Drink plenty of liquids. 2. Stay home and rest. If you are concerned about your symptoms, you should see your healthcare provider. How to protect yourself from coronavirus in the community. Individuals without respiratory symptoms should. Avoid agglomerations and frequency of closed crowded spaces. Maintain a distance of at least 1 meter from any individual with 2019 NCOV respiratory symptoms e.g., coughing, sneezing. Perform hand hygiene frequently, using alcohol-based hand rub if hands are not visibly soiled or soap and water when hands are visibly soiled. If coughing or sneezing cover nose and mouth with a flexed elbow or paper tissue, dispose of the tissue immediately after use and perform hand hygiene. Refrain from touching the mouth and nose. A medical mask is not required, as no evidence is available on its usefulness to protect non-sick persons. However, masks might be worn in some countries according to local cultural habits. If masks are used, best practices should be followed on how to wear, remove, and dispose of them and on hand hygiene action after removal. See below advice regarding appropriate mask management. Individuals with respiratory symptoms should Wear a medical mask and seek medical care if experiencing fever, cough and difficulty breathing, as soon as possible or in accordance with local protocols. Follow the below advice regarding appropriate mask management. This video aims to provide rapid advice on the use of medical masks in communities, at home and at health care facilities in areas that have reported outbreaks caused by the 2019 novel coronavirus 2019 NCOV. It is intended for public health and infection prevention and control IPC, professionals, health care managers, health care workers, and community health workers. It will be revised as more data become available. With the current information available, it is suggested that the route of human-to-human -human transmission of 2019 NCOV is either via respiratory droplets or contact. Any person who is in close contact within one meter with someone who has respiratory symptoms e.g., sneezing, coughing, etc. is at risk of being exposed to potentially infective respiratory droplets. Medical masks are surgical or procedure masks that are flat or pleated, some are like cups, they are affixed to the head with straps. 
In general, wearing a medical mask is one of the prevention measures to limit the spread of certain respiratory diseases, including 2019 NCOV, in affected areas. However, the use of a mask alone is insufficient to provide an adequate level of protection and other equally relevant measures should be adopted. If masks are to be used, this measure must be combined with hand hygiene and other IPC measures to prevent the human-to-human -human transmission of 2019 now. The World Health Organization has developed guidance for home care and health care settings on infection prevention and control IPC, strategies for use when infection with 2019 NCOV is suspected. Wearing medical masks when not indicated may cause unnecessary cost, procurement burden and create a false sense of security that can lead to neglecting other essential measures such as hand hygiene practices. Furthermore, using a mask incorrectly may hamper its effectiveness to reduce the risk of transmission. How to protect yourself from coronavirus in healthcare facilities. Individuals with respiratory symptoms should. Wear a medical mask while waiting in triage or waiting areas or during transportation within the facility. Wear a medical mask when staying in areas dedicated to suspected or confirmed cases. Do not wear a medical mask when isolated in single rooms, but cover mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing with disposable paper tissues. Dispose the tissues appropriately and perform hand hygiene immediately afterward. Health care workers should. Wear a medical mask when entering a room where patients suspected or confirmed of being infected with 2019 NCOV are admitted and in any situation of care provided to a suspected or confirmed case. Use a particulate respirator at least as protective as a U.S. National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health NIOSH, certified N95, European Union EU, standard FFP2, or equivalent when performing aerosol-generating procedures such as tracheal intubation, non-invasive ventilation, tracheotomy, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, manual ventilation before intubation, and bronchoscopy. This video aims to provide rapid advice on the use of medical masks in communities, at home and at health care facilities in areas that have reported outbreaks caused by the 2019 novel coronavirus, 2019 NCOV. It is intended for public health and infection prevention and control IPC, professionals, health care managers, health care workers, and community health workers. It will be revised as more data become available. With the current information available, it is suggested that the route of human-to-human -human transmission of 2019 NCOV is either via respiratory droplets or contact. Any person who is in close contact within one meter with someone who has respiratory symptoms e.g., sneezing, coughing, etc. is at risk of being exposed to potentially infective respiratory droplets. Medical masks are surgical or procedure masks that are flat or pleated, some are like cups, they are affixed to the head with straps. In general, wearing a medical mask is one of the prevention measures to limit the spread of certain respiratory diseases, including 2019 NCOV, in affected areas. However, the use of a mask alone is insufficient to provide an adequate level of protection and other equally relevant measures should be adopted. If masks are to be used, this measure must be combined with hand hygiene and other IPC measures to prevent the human-to-human -human transmission of 2019 now. The World Health Organization has developed guidance for home care and health care settings on infection prevention and control IPC, strategies for use when infection with 2019 NCOV is suspected. Wearing medical masks when not indicated may cause unnecessary cost, procurement burden and create a false sense of security that can lead to neglecting other essential measures such as hand hygiene practices. Furthermore, using a mask incorrectly may hamper its effectiveness to reduce the risk of transmission.